This video will discuss the mathematical concept of groups. So we care about groups, and this chapter is called Symmetry and Group Theory, because all of the symmetry operations of our molecule are going to form what is called a group. And the rest of this chapter relies on the property of groups and how we can use those to determine things about our molecule just based off the type of symmetry operations and elements that it has. Okay, so a group is defined as a set of, en a set of entities that satisfy the following conditions. So number one, there is a rule for combining the members of the group, and the result is also a part of the group. So for example, in symmetry operations, if we do one operation and then another, that defines a new operation. For example, uh, the SN operation is a CN followed by a sigma H. So we rotate by a certain amount, then reflect through a perpendicular plane, and that is an improper rotation, a third operation. So for all the symmetry operations that a molecule has, doing any two of those is another symmetry operation, and that is also a symmetry operation which belongs to the group. So that's kind of multiplication of the operators if you, if you prefer. Um, number two, the multiplication is associative. So for every symmetry operation in our group, we have the following type of behavior. If we do two operations and then a third, that's equal to doing the other two and the third. So doing, doing the, res the product of B and C and then A is equivalent to doing C then the product of B and A. So the multiplication is what is called associative if it obeys this type of behavior. Three, there is an identity element, something that does nothing. So this is probably ringing very familiar from our previous two videos where we have the identity operation uh, in symmetry, which does nothing. So the identity times a, any given symmetry element is just the same symmetry element left unchanged because any rotation, reflection, or inversion times identity is just that operation times nothing, which is just itself. And four, all members have an inverse, which I can represent as that operation to the negative one power. And an inverse will be defined such that the operation followed by its inverse operation yields a net result of the identity of having done nothing. So for example, if I rotate clockwise by so many degrees, then I rotate clock, sorry, I rotate counterclockwise by so many degrees, then I rotate clockwise by the opposite number of degrees, I have in effect done nothing. If I rotate by 180 degrees, then 180 more degrees around the same axis, I have done nothing. If I reflect through a plane, then reflect back through the same plane, I've done nothing. If I invert through the same point twice, I have done nothing. So for every symmetry element a molecule is going, every symmetry operation a molecule has, there is a corresponding operation which is the inverse to that operation. So if a set of entities follows all of these four conditions, that there is a combination rule, it's associative, they have an identity, and they have an inverse, then they form a group. So all of the symmetry operations of a molecule obey these properties, and they are going to form what is called a point group, which we'll discuss further in the next video.